Good evening. Good evening, mister. How are you? Fine, and you? Good, good, I'm doing okay. Thank you. You're welcome. How was your day, Arlene? It was very busy. Uh-huh. I had work... a lot of work. Okay. You say you work in the afternoon? Yeah, I work in the afternoon. Okay, and what do you do in the mornings? Uh, exercise. Okay. Housework. Okay. Um, and sometimes I cook for, for all my family. All right. Sometimes. Good. How many people in your house? Six. Six? Yes. All right. So how many and children? What, huh? And what? And what? And one pet. Oh, so six people and a pet. Yeah. All right. That's a big family. Yeah. All right. That's good. Are you doing home office? Yeah, I'm doing home office and I had a lot of work for my shirt because I'm very did with the work of shirt. Okay. All right. So you're staying busy nowadays. Yeah. All right, good. What about the others? How was your day today? Can the rest hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. What's your name again, senorita? Alba. Alba. Because right here, it only appears as senorita. Yes, I know. Okay. <laughs> Alba, Alba. How was your day, Alba? It was okay. Uh-huh. I had not a lot of work today. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's why you have to make sure that you're in a quiet place when you connect. <laughs> All right. Fighting in, in her home. Yeah, it happens. That's why, you know, like when, when I attend meetings, I make sure that my microphone is off because sometimes, you know, like you speak naturally without checking first, so. <laughs> yep. All right, so today is May 6th. Wednesday, May 6th. What was yesterday? What was yesterday? Uh-huh, what was yesterday's date? May 5? May 5th. Fifth. Yes, May 5th. May 5th. Why 5th and not 5? Um, Can someone answer why do we say 5th and not 5? Because the, the number... Uh, I, I don't remember the, the, the characteristic is uh, the sequence is different because the uh, numbers ordinary in numbers I don't remember the name okay so we have cardinals and we have cardinal. ordinals that that ordinary cardinal yes so when we talk about dates we use ordinal numbers yeah right so that's why we say um, Fifth and not five. That is why, because in English, every day is order. All right. Um, do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? Do you remember the topics we covered yesterday? The... Ella de mí con tanta fuerza, mujer, que mira todo lo que has hecho, todo el movimiento increíble. Felicidades, oh, wow. Jennifer. Oh, my Fel goodness. All right. You don't know what it's a move. Congratulations. Yes. 
don't know why. <laughs> That's that's we, what I, that's why I was telling you. You know, you gotta make sure that your mic is <laughs> off if yeah. you're going to be doing uh, more than one thing while you are uh, online in the yeah. online class. No, the the other is yeah. The there there are uh, many applications now to silent always. Sure. And block the 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 microphone. Right. Right. Uh -huh, yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, uh huh. About the the topic yesterday is uh, when we can use where where worrying worrying about the the let me check. Uh huh. Can someone help Samuel? When do we use where? There was one topic in particular that we were using where. Who remembers the name of that topic? When we talk about wishes. Good. Yes, when we talk about wishes. Yeah, wish. So imagine that you're in San Miguel, it's very hot. So you said, I wish it were fresh. You couldn't imagine. What is it? You couldn't imagine, imagine what hot it is in here. Right. In Oriente. Right. Yeah, I I can imagine because it's 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 hot here in in um in Lourdes. So I can imagine how Oriente uh is right now. But the the good news is uh -huh. the the raining is coming. <laughs> right. Well, I hope so cuz cuz the rain helps. Yeah, yeah, helps a lot. <laughs> sure, especially if you are at home, you said, okay, let the rain begin. Yeah, yeah, all, all week. <laughs> yeah, all week, all day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we were talking about wishes, how you wish things were different, or how you wish things did not happen the way they do, but you wish. And that's all we we can do, wish. Because there is nothing we can do to change things like the weather or um, financial things, different things. But you can change by doing things differently. Okay, um, what else did we do yesterday? Uh huh. We it, was remember about the evaluation and comp comparison. Yes, comparison. And, uh, with nouns and when comparisons. Compar yeah, adjectives. Yes, we were comparing, analyzing, um, using adjectives and nouns. Yes. Are there any questions related with any of the topics we covered yesterday? Is everything clear? Yes, I had a question about the use weren't because okay. I feel that I'm a little confused about that. Okay. Um, like, like I was giving you the example, imagine that you are in Santa Rosa de Lima, let's say right now, I imagine that it's very hot. It's Semana Santa. Well, we just finished Semana Santa. So um, you wish that the weather were fresher. So you tell your husband or you tell your boyfriend, I wish the weather were fresh. Or you say, I wish it rained a lot. It doesn't matter if you're saying were or rained the two form of the verbs have to be in simple past tense. So every okay. time that you make a wish, the form of the verb has to be in past. Teacher, teacher, yeah, can, but, can, can you but, repeat again that, please? Yes, uh, let, let me repeat. Yes, uh, when you are expressing wishes, when you are wishing that things were different, um, you have to use the 
you, you have to use simple past, past perfect or past continuous to talk about how changes you would like to see them different. So if you're in San Miguel, you're in Sultan, it's very hot. You tell your family, I wish it were fresh. Me gustaría que estuviese fresco. So you talk about wishes, you use the simple past tense. You can also use the past continuous. So let's say it's very hot right now and you say, I wish it were raining. Me gustaría que estuviera lloviendo. Because the, the yeah, rain clean. usually brings fresh weather. Yeah. yeah. So uh, when you're talking about wishes, make sure that you use past perfect, simple past, or past continuous. I will explain a little bit more uh, on our next activity when I will show you an image of it. Okay. Um, anybody else? Any other questions yeah. or comments? And the other is uh, about the, the can you can we can we use uh, warning or didn't? Right, right. It, it it all depends if you're using past perfect, um, simple past or past continuous. Sometimes you're gonna use did. Sometimes you're gonna use word. Okay. Okay. Yes. And warning is is. Uh, is uh, the all the all pronouns? Uh, yes? yes, you use weren't for all personal pronouns. That is okay, correct. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. So, like I said, you're in San Miguel. It's very hot. You tell your family, "I wish it weren't that hot." Okay. Okay. Yes. Any other comments or questions related with what we did yesterday? No? Okay, let's check this here. Someone wrote to me, I always go out of my house because it's too noisy. Now I'm inside of my microphone, gonna be off. All right. Okay, so let's do this. Um, as I was telling you, yesterday we were working with um, with uh, with wishes. So let me show you this. Wishes right here. Okay, can you see the image? Not yet. Not oh, yeah. yet. Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, can someone please read the topic in the introduction, please? We use wish to express that we regret, 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 so, regret sometimes, or we will, we will, uh -huh. like something to be different than the way it is. All right, good. So thank you. Uh, in other ways, we have three forms to express wishes. You can, uh, as you can see, the the orange boxes. What do we have in the orange boxes? The formula. Okay, the formula, or what is another form to say the that structure. formula? Structure. The structure. Okay, the structure or the tenses. Um, how many tenses do we have in English? Who remembers how many tenses we had in English? In English, we have 12 tenses, 12. By the time you guys finish this course, not this level, but all the course, we expect you to use the 12 tenses correctly. Now, when we talk about wishes, in this case in particular, um, we express the wishes in three different forms. We use the simple past, we use the past continuous, or we use Past perfect. Now, you want to use the simple past if we want a situation in the present or future to be different. What is the example? I wish I ate more vegetables. How do you say that one in Spanish? 
I wish I ate more vegetables. Deseo comer más vegetales. Desearía. Desearía. Ajá. Desearía comer más vegetales. Now, if you translate this literally, we would have to change the form of the structure that we use. And this is another reason why you shouldn't translate literally, but simply understand how we use our wishes when we're using them in English. So we use the simple past. Look at the second one. Yes. I have a question. Sure. Ask me. Why, if you want to speak in the future tense, do you have to use the past tense? Okay, one more time, Roxanne. I, I couldn't hear you. Okay, so if you are talking about a wish, uh -huh. you want in the future, but why you have to speak in past tense? Okay. Um, All right. Uh, the, the, the answer is very simple. Uh, when we use the past structures, because we have three different options, we are not translating or there is no connection with the past. It's only the structure that we use to talk about wishes. Now, in English, people use them very natural and they know they have to use the simple past, the past continuous or the past perfect. And there is no connection with the three tenses whatsoever. It's just the tense or the structure that we're using um, so the sentence makes sense. Um, does, okay. that, does that answer your question, Roxanne? Yes, yes. Thank all you, right. teacher. All right, good. Now, with the second uh, orange chart, the one that I have here, we're going to be using the past continuous. Now, when do we use it? It says, we want to be doing a different activity in the present or the future. So you say, I wish it weren't raining now. Now, um, yesterday, uh, I also mentioned that when we're talking about wishes, you need to use were if it's positive or weren't if it's negative. So um, imagine it's raining right now and you need to go to work uh, and you don't have a car and you don't have an umbrella. So you wish and you say to yourself, I wish it weren't raining now. So you're wishing that the situation were different with you, for you. So you use the past continuous. Are there any questions with the second option that we have? No. All right. Clear. All right. And now we go with the last one, with the past perfect. All right. So now they're talking yes. about transportation. Okay. Yes, they so, have. All right, so now we're talking about past perfect. It says, we want to be able to change a situation in general. Uh, something that you did in the past, but now you wish you hadn't done it. So you said, I wish I hadn't done it. How do you say that one in Spanish? I wish I hadn't done it. Can you hear me? Desearía no haberlo hecho. Desearía no haberlo hecho. That means that you did it. So let's say you go to a bank, yes. you ask for money, they give you the money, but the interest is very high. When you finish paying the loan, um, you realize that you paid a lot. You learned your lesson, but it's too late now. Now you have to pay back the money. So you tell your friend, you tell your family, I wish I hadn't done it. So when you talk about wishes, we have these three options. Uh, what do they have in common? The three options, they have somehow something related with the simple past, with the past continuous or with the past perfect. 
So it really doesn't matter which one you are using. Just make sure that if you're using the simple pass, the pass continuous or the pass perfect, you use, you use them correctly. Are, are we okay with this situation? Yes, it's clear. Uh, teacher, can you uh, send a copy to the WhatsApp group, please? Sure, yeah. right now. You can. Let me see. Screenshot. <laughs> okay, yes, you can take a screenshot. If not, I will share it with you right now in the WhatsApp chat, 8 to 9 p.m. It's right there. Perfect. All right, you get it. Did you get the image? Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. Uh, now we go to, uh, can you see that image? Yeah. yeah. In the computer? Yes. Yes. All right. So let me send you a copy of, of this um, 1271. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm just waiting for, let me see this here. All right, so I'm going to assign you to be working in pairs. I will share this image again in the WhatsApp um, chat. So once you guys start working in pairs, you have to answer those questions using wish. Uh, where do you wish you lived? Why? Do you wish you owned a large dog? What food do you wish you ate more often? Do you wish you had a different name? Do you wish your teacher gave you more homework? Does your teacher wish that you came to class on time? What job do you wish you had? Do you wish that it rained more uh, often? Do you wish you knew how to fly a plane and finish the sentence? I wish I, and then number 10 is going to be very, uh, very personal. So let me make the rooms 18 people. That's a good number. I'm going to make nine pairs. So everybody starts working in pairs. So here we go. Arlen. Hi, Mr. I'm alone. Oh, you're I alone? I don't know why. Okay, let me assign yeah. you with someone. Give me a second. Okay, thank you. Sure. Which room are you in, Arlen? Your room two. Room two. Okay, so I'm going to send you to room one. And I will send this guy to room three.
Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? We are so thank you. All right. We have to answer the question. Yes, yes, you have to answer those questions. That is correct. For example, the number one, I wish I live in Ireland. Yes. Because it's more yes, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay. I'm pollution, noisy. I prefer the 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 Hi. Are you practicing? Uh, I don't know if the other person can hear me because I was asking if there was some somebody there. And okay. I just start to uh, answer myself. All right, Elizabeth, can you hear me? I guess she's not. So let me move you somewhere else, Antonio. Okay, thank you. Sure. Antonio Room Four. Um, I wish. I wish to tell me. Let me think. I I wish it more it it vegetables more often. <laughs> vegetables. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> this year, I, I, bueno, <laughs> well, uh, the second question is: Do you do you wish to own a large dog? A large dog. Mm, no. First, and I going to respond after. Yeah, yeah, I don't wish uh, a different name because I I like my 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 name. <laughs> okay, uh, in my case, not. I wish. Let me see. I wish I had a different name because I don't like my first name because my first name is not. But I don't like how oh, how is this sound like enough. So I prefer, for example, I don't know, Jose, Eric, Daniel. Uh, for example, whatever, whatever name. But I don't and like my first name. The father had a big problem because for. But you see, number five. Do you wish your teacher gave you more homework? In fact, they you don't know, gave more you don't know, gave homework. Oh, okay. it's probably it, it it's going to have only maybe one or two dogs. I wish that puppy. I yes, wish that because because of the size they don't have that like that much puppies. Yeah. So maybe the most maybe three. Because I had one, uh, but but it was um, a French, uh, and, and they are similar to the Maltese, mm -hmm. and uh, we they have uh, the my dog. She had, I guess, like three puppies, but one born dead. So it was it, it's a sad story. Okay. Okay. The the next. 
No, uh, no is present new is. Okay, entonces, yes, yes, I wish knew how to fly a plane because it's oh, interesting. Right. Teacher, teacher, you, yes. teacher. <laughs> este, um, uh, we don't know what is the thing, uh, what, what significa the, uh, the question six. Does your English teacher wish that you came to class on time? Que si el profesor desea que venga a tiempo. No, I don't understand. Yes, yes, that's exactly what it is. Que si el profesor desea que llegue a tiempo porque siempre llego tarde. Yes, that's that's exactly. Es yes, that's exactly what they're asking. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Um, um, uh, uh, finish this sentence. Not teaching. And the chair of what? I mean, master. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you are so smart. <laughs> Not really, but, but I like it. Oh, that, that's important. Yes. Uh, the next question is, what job do you wish you had? What, mm -hmm. job? what job do you wish what? you had? My dream job is to be a con uh, diplomat or a consul of my country. I studied international relations. My wish job is to be a in a, a diplomat and or a consul. But I know that that is like kind of impossible. Okay. Mm, let me see. Mm, not. Why? Why not? Mm, because your aim. His name is, I don't know, I forgotten right now. That is in English. It's Elijah. 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 Yeah. And my, and my grandfather couldn't say the name. Oh. But he does live here or lives no, in he lives here. Country. I don't know why, but he lives I here. Them, but... I don't know. Well, the next one. Next one. Hey. What job? Oh no. Does you your English teacher wish that you came the class on time? Does you wish that you came to class on time? <laughs> does your does your English teacher wish that you came to? Class? Yes, he does. Yes, he. Yes. I think. <laughs> We I think he wishes a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we try to be in time. I know, I know. It's a quiz and, and put in this model. No, no, no. I started the around seven months studied. No, I... English Corporativo. Ah, okay. No, I, I say about me. I I oh, I really? do the quiz and they put me in this model. Oh, that's cool. We we finished this year, so we only met uh, to right. speak about us. Uh -huh. All right, good, good, no problem. Hi teacher. You guys finished? Yes. All right, so let's return to the main session. Okay. It's very hard in Zacateco, look. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I go, I go some time to Zacateco, look, because I have a, 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 my own, my own job. And I have a, a different, clients and employees because I 
I have to go to the doing my job and I, I yeah because I don't have a, a job with other with a, a, a boss or anything I own I own my my I am my own boss. <laughs> right, good. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's good because I have I have a, a two years in in that in this modality. Yeah, modality. Okay. It's it's it's, a, it's, it's good and the, the the beginning is very complicated, but the on the time is very. It's very good. All right. Good. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. And then, what I, uh -huh. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And where you say you go to Zacateculuca. Where do you live, Samuel? I live in San Jacinto. San, Jacinto. In San Salvador. Okay. Yeah, you, you go to, uh, do you drive or do you catch the bus? I it depends the, the 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 situation. I prefer to go to the the, the bus. Okay. Because uh, for the depending the, the 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 place to I need to go. You know, it is depend to the if I have to go to the my laptop or or, or I need to. Uh, repair uh, something the other device okay the place for for safe but if I have to go to the, the, the uh, in other place I prefer to go to the bus okay good yeah. no, no bus. <laughs> all right all right so let's return to the main session. Yeah. And what about you, Maria? Um. What are you doing? Um. All right, did you have the chance to practice uh, with that exercise? Yes, the old sentence. All right, are there any uh, questions? Teacher. Yes, ask I me. I have two questions about the number uh, six and seven, no, no, uh, seven uh, five and six. Five and six. I don't knew uh, the number five. I don't know how to do the sentence, how to answer that, and the number six, two. Six, two. Okay, so yeah. the question is, yes. do, do you wish your teacher gave you more homework? Then the answer is, yes, I do, or no, I don't. Now, if you want to be more specific and give extra information, you would have to give, yes, uh, yes, I do. I wish my teacher gave me more homework so I could practice more. Oh. That is for yeah, number yeah. five. The numbers. Yes. Uh, yeah, do you that's answer, a good idea. answer all the questions? Yes. In number Please. seven, yes. Because I, I, I feel difficult. Don't worry. Oh, the sentence. It says, number seven, Thank you. what job do you wish you had? I wish I were a doctor. I wish I were uh, I were. An, a, an architect, mm -hmm. an accountant. So okay. we're talking about wishes. And the number six. Number six, does your, let me see it. Does your English teacher wish that you came to class on time? Yes, he does. He tells me that he wishes we all came exactly at eight o'clock. 
just in case you want to be more specific. All now, right. uh, something else you have to be, you have to pay attention to the instructions because if they're asking you that you give complete answers, then you have to answer like, yes, he does. He tells us every day that he wants us to be on time. So it depends if they're telling you to give short answers or long answers. Is, uh, does that answer your question? Yes, yes. All right. Teacher, so teacher yes. I have a question. Yes, ask me. I don't know how to know uh -huh. when, when to use which form of sentence structure. Okay. Uh, 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 it's difficult remember. for me. Uh, no, don't worry. Now, like I was telling you guys at the beginning, hold on. Uh, like I was telling you guys at the beginning, um, hold on. Uh, when you're talking about wishes, you have three different options. You can use the simple past, you can use past perfect, or you can use past continuous. It all depends what exactly you are experiencing at the time you're speaking. So let's say you're in, uh, you're in El Pital. It's very cold, very, very cold. And you wish it were hot. So you tell your boyfriend, you tell your girlfriend, your husband, wife, you tell them, I wish it were hotter. Me gustaría que estuviese más caliente. Because it's too cold. It's too cold. Now, if you're talking about something that you already did and you wish you hadn't done it, then you're gonna have to express your wishes by using past perfect. So let's say you're very angry and you say things you shouldn't say. The following day you feel bad and you say to yourself, I wish I hadn't said anything better. Me gustaría no haber dicho yeah. nada. Uh, yes, I, I, I understand the example, but it, for, for example, in the second sentence I say, do you wish you own an, a large dog? Uh -huh. So, uh, it, uh, no, I don't, I, 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 I don't, I wish, I don't wish uh, uh, on a, a large dog, you know, okay. what is the structure? For okay, so listen, it, it's, it's very simple. Um, there you're making a question about wishes and you have to pay attention to the auxiliary you use in the question. So if you're, if you're asking a question and you're using do or does, you have to answer with do, don't, does, or doesn't. It, it depends on who you're talking about. Now, if you want to give extra information and you want to be very specific, then you say, do you wish you owned a big dog? No, I don't. I had one last time and I had to clean my house like five times a day. So first you have to answer the main question, like, do you wish, does she wish? And then you have to give the extra information by using the past uh, uh, structures. But I, I need to say, no, deseo, no desearía tener un perro. Right, and, and that's why I was telling you, it depends on, on, on what you are experiencing at the time you're speaking. Because if you say, do you wish you owned a big dog? Now imagine that you own a big dog already. You said, no, I don't because I already have one. Now, if you don't uh -huh. have this one. This is my answer. <laughs> uh -huh. your, your question. No, I don't because I have two little dogs. Okay. So. 
All right. So you say, no, I don't. I prefer I small dogs. Dog. Okay. Right. Now the answer, the okay. answer that applies okay. Ah, for okay. every okay. case is, is, is very different. Is, is that clear? Okay. Okay. No, no. Um, um, aunque la pregunta say, uh, um, say I wish my answer no necessary uh, include wish. No, not necessarily. Ah, except, okay. except, except if they're asking you, okay, answer the questions uh, with a long answer. Then you have to, uh, if the instructions are telling you that you need to give a long answer, then you would have to use wish. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yep. All right, so. Um, Thank you. Sure. Uh, the first question says, where do you wish you lived? I wish I lived in Puerto Rico. I wish I lived in Puerto Rico. Why? Because the economy is really good. Number two, do you wish you owned a large dog? Um, yes, I do. I wish I had, or I wish I owned a big dog. What food do you wish you ate more often? I wish I ate more vegetables more often. Do you wish you had a different name? No, I don't. I'm completely happy with my name. Do you wish your teacher gave you more homework? No, I don't. I'm okay with the homework he assigns to us uh, every day. Does your English teacher wish that you came to class on time? Yes, he does. He tells us every day to be on time the following class. What job do you wish you had? I wish I could be an engineer. Do you wish that it rained more often? Yes, I do. I do wish that it rained more often. Uh, do you wish you knew how to fly a plane? Sure, why not? It sounds very interesting, but it's very expensive. And number 10, it, it was a, a, a personal sentence that you guys were supposed to make. So you said, I wish I knew how to speak four languages. I, I wish... All right, and then number 10, can you give us a, a one example, everybody? Number 10. Yes, so I wish I had a car. Can you see the chat uh, uh, in the platform? Do you see the chat? Yes. 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 What does it say? I wish I had a car. I wish I had a car. I wish I had a car. Okay. Can you write one example? I wish I ate shrimps and bear today. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> Hola. Hi, teacher. I wish I ate shrimps and bear today. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good. <laughs> Shrimp and beer. That's, that's, that's like the perfect combination. So there are two people. Okay. I, I wish I had a million dollars. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to buy shrimp and beer. <laughs> I wish I learned English. Okay, I wish I learned English. You will. You are. Learn. Okay. I hope so. What else? <laughs> Samuel, Emmanuel. Roxanne, Maricela. I wish I had another. 
wish I had another. <laughs> another? Another, another pitbull. Pit okay, bull. so you have one already. What, what? So you have one pitbull already. I wish. Yeah, yeah, I have a pitbull. But I, I, I want to have another pitbull. Okay, is, is the one that you have right now, is it a he or a she? Uh, it's a uh, it's a male. It's... Okay. Now, would you like the other dog to be a, 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 a another male or a female? Female, because I want to. Uh, they gave me. I don't know how they they gave me pets. Oh, so the, so you don't pay for them. What what? You don't pay for the animals. No, 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 I don't pay. Okay, good. So I wish I I eat ice cream or I ate ice cream. Ate. 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 So I wish be. I ate ice cream. Everybody's wishing to go to the beach this quarantine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, uh, any other examples? Me. Yes. I wish my I wish my dad had already given beer. Okay. He's giving, giving, <laughs> gave <laughs> beer. Okay. I really, I really wish that. All right, anybody else? I wish I learned the English. I wish I drank my stem because it's very healthy. All right, good. <laughs> Who else? Who else? Who else? Anybody else? I wish I, I learned German. Okay, you wish you wish you learned German or Germany? Uh German. German or Germany? It's German. A, German. Uh, German, oh, all right, all right. Yes, Germany is the country. I love that language. Oh, yeah, yeah, Germany. Yes. I love that language. Good, good. Have you ever taken classes? Uh, no, not yet, no yet, but, but I hear a lot of speeches on that language. Okay, that's good. All right, anybody else wants to give a, a, a sentence? It says, I wish I learned English. I wish it weren't raining and here's some of the class. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. May I? Sure, please. Uh, I wish there, I wish the coronavirus pandemic didn't exist or didn't happen because in that way, we weren't in, in quarantine by now. Okay, good, good. Okay, who else? I wish I wish I could travel to Portugal next year. Okay, good. Someone else. Um, I wish I had a big house with a farm uh, for this pandemic. Okay. Yes. Everybody wishes. And don't and, and don't worry for and don't worry for the food anything. <laughs> yep, yep. Who else? Yes, it's very maybe I. Sure. Very, uh, I wish I had a supermarket next to my house to buy oh. a, a lot of things for about the next fifteen years. Fifteen okay. days. Sorry. <laughs> All right, that's a good wish. Anybody else wants to give it another example? Anybody else? No? Okay, let me see if I can go to this. Um, uh, it says midterm exam. Okay, so let's go to the can you see my image in the screen? 
Uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh, what about now? No. No. No yet. Okay, no yet. let me see no. this here. Share screen. Share. Share. Can you see it now? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Uh, the first part is listening, so we're not going to do the listening. Uh, first, uh, this letter B is about past tense. What is the best answer for 1A? Uh, number three. three. Number three. Yes, number three is number three. correct. What number about, four. okay, what about the second four. one? Did you did, did he study, study did French study in high school? In high school? Okay. Did he study French? French. Okay, French. Capital letter. Yes. Okay. Okay. And number three. Complete the conversation. Use the past tense and make sure not to use or uh, capital letters when necessary. So what would be, Teacher. yes? Hey, what is the meaning of capital letters? Capital letters are mayúsculas, right? Ah, oh, all right, right. Yes. So okay. complete the conversation. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so what would be the answer for when. number three? When did they graduate from college? Okay, when did they graduate from college? college? All right, and the answers are good. Correct. Yes. We did it, teacher. Yes, so we're going to continue with the next section tomorrow. Okay. Do you okay. have any yes. questions about today? No. All right, so if there are no questions, thank you again for your time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Thank you. Good night. All right, have a good night. Thank you for the answer. All right, see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. Have a nice night. You too. Thank you. Have a good dream.